The Divine Wind is a historical fiction novel written by Gary Disher in 1998, targeting young adult readers. The story revolves around four young adults Alice, Hartley, Mitzi, and Jamie, who grow up together in the town of Broome, Australia, in the years leading up to World War II. Despite their contrasting backgrounds and heritages, their friendship remains strong, even in the face of inner conflicts, outer challenges, and moments of betrayal. Navigating the complexities of their lives, they strive to maintain harmony amidst societal divisions of class, race, and the looming war. The narrative begins with a glimpse into the post-war period of 1946, where the people of Broome are grappling with the aftermath of the recent war and its impact on the town. After painting a picture of the somber atmosphere, the story shifts back in time to the late 1930s, before the war. The narrator, Alice Penrose's brother, Hart, who hails from a family of pearl fishermen, depicts the idyllic and joyful experiences of their childhood in the tropical town. Initially, Broome seems relatively free from overt racism, despite the prevalent discrimination elsewhere in the world. However, subtle indications of past and present tensions emerge, revealing an underlying prejudice against the Aboriginal population and the diverse mix of immigrant communities in the town Ida, Hart's mother, is dissatisfied with her life in Broome and yearns for the familiarity of her home and family in England. When she receives news of her father's death, she abruptly leaves her family behind and returns to England. Tragically, she loses her life during an air raid in London. Restless during the dangerous wet season, Mike, Ida's husband, ventures out with Hart to engage in pearl fishing before the turbulent conditions subside. However, their expedition is marred by a violent storm that leaves Hart severely injured and teetering on the brink of death. In a stroke of luck, Hart is rescued from the brink of death by Mitzi's father, Zeke Senesuk, who was lost at sea. Sadly, Zeke sacrifices his own life during the rescue. Mitzi and her mother find solace in each other as they navigate the grief of losing Zeke. Mitzi dedicates herself to caring for Hart in the hospital, nursing him back to health with time and patience. Meanwhile, the widening reach of the war threatens the once-isolated haven of Broome. Fueled by outrage at Carl's racism, Alice leaves him and joins the war effort as a nurse. Tragically, she is captured and becomes a prisoner of war, her fate unknown feeling immense guilt and compassion for Zeke's selfless act. Hart's father takes Mitzi and her mother into their home, providing them shelter and support. Over time, a deep bond forms between Hart and Mitzi, and they fall in love. However, the uncertainty surrounding Alice's fate strains their relationships. Mitzi and her mother make the difficult decision to leave, with the help of their friend Jamie Killian, who is both Hart's companion and rival. Hart's jealousy intensifies, suspecting that Jamie desires to steal Mitzi away from him. The escalating violence reaches its peak when Hart confronts Jamie with aggression, coinciding with the eruption of war in Broome. During an attack on the Dutch refugees' seaplanes, Jamie is gravely wounded, prompting a moment of reckoning for Hart. Despite his initial inclination to lead Jamie to his fate, Hart ultimately saves him. The incident, however, drives Mitzi away from Hart, unable to bear the cycle of violence. The novel's conclusion brings us back to the present of 1946. Unlike the initial flash-forward, there is a glimmer of hope. Following a Japanese air raid and subsequent rescue mission, Mitzi and her mother find themselves placed in an internment camp in Victoria, Australia, for the duration of the war. Nevertheless, Mitzi reaches out to Hart through written correspondence, reaffirming her love for him and expressing her intention to return. However, Hart remains uncertain about whether their relationship can ever fully mend and reconcile the tumultuous events they have experienced. Their friendship continues from a distance, but its future remains uncertain. The novel concludes with a heightened sense of uncertainty surrounding the fate of the people of Broome and the wider Australia. As the internees return by ship and are released onto the pier, the future remains ambiguous. While the war may have officially ended, the deep-rooted problems and divisions stemming from racial and cultural conflicts persist, drawing its title from the English translation of the Japanese word kamikaze. The Divine Wind portrays the struggles of diverse individuals forced to unite in their fight for survival during the brutal turmoil of World War II. It also sheds light on the plight of innocent Japanese people who faced hostility and racism when seeking refuge from their ravaged homeland.
While the novel presents a somewhat pessimistic view regarding the endurance of friendships and romances amidst the strains of war, it also holds the potential for a community to rebuild and embrace acceptance through a process of multicultural reformulation. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.